I need a new base, or rather, a second base. So today, we're gonna be exploring new, new lands while dipping our toes in some Pow World lore to find our new home. Welcome back to Pow World with Nyog, where every episode has a little bit of death and chaos. <laughs> Here's some base updates, by the way. What the heck? What happened? <laughs> As you guys have suggested, I added a Vixie to my pen. Oh, I also caught some uh, Kativas, so we can do this with our very own Kativa. This condenser takes four sacrifices of the same species to make that pal stronger. In Kativa's case, it lets you carry more items, but I didn't really need that. I set off for my travels and heard a familiar voice. Ah, uh, excuse me! Oh my god, these guys just get aggressive for no reason. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Ah! <laughs> okay, it's fine. This freaking guy needs to chill. If there's anything I learned from Pal World, it's that these guys have no chill. Oh my god, okay, y'all, y'all need a freaking. Take a step back. Privacy, you know, give me some personal space. Oh my god. Freaking leave me alone. After running away, I made some progress moving forward. It's these guys again. Go away, dude. No, I don't understand the deal with them. Sometimes they're chill. You're angry? Leave me alone. Ah! What is the deal with these guys? Oh my god. Some of them are so aggressive for, wh for what reason? We have snow biome over there. And then we have like a ocean canyon. After picking my next destination, I switched to my newly saddled Nightwing to make my way across the seas. <gasps> oh! Oh, look at these guys! Look at these little guys! And with new biomes comes new pals. And with new pals, there are those that I accidentally kill. No! <laughs> uh... Oh, but I see a few more. Twilight Dunes. Cool. Ah, oh, he looks so cool. Okay, no, 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 you're not going anywhere. Okay, I guess you are going somewhere. Just give me a moment. Oh. Well. We were a little too strong, I think. Uh, that's alright. No, don't kill that dick twice, too. I want <laughs> No! 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 Frickin'. Oh, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out! Oh, okay, oh, I don't know what this means. Hot! I'm hot! Come on, ah! No, don't grenade my stuff! Okay, it's okay. No, it's not! I'm so far away from anything! Oh my god, okay. Ah, okay, take all, take all. Where is that? Okay, come on, let's go. Go, 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 go. Just go, just go. Oh my god. <laughs> After retrieving my stuff around, I stuck around a bit and found this guy. Oh. Can we get close? He won't, like, automatically aggro, right? No, he does. Ah! <laughs> I should really... Where is he? Where is he? Uh... Oh wow, it's the Anubis statue. Are you just gonna, like, chill? What is... Are you, do you actually aggro? Oh, 
Oh no, he's chill, he's chill. Oh my god, this is such a sick design. Wow. Oh my god, wait, it looks like Journey from the back. Okay, what if we bring Totoko to explode? Because Totoko does 9999999. What? 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 Uh! Stop! Uh, ah! What? That one shot it? That one shot it. Oh, okay, get the frick out of here. Oh my god. <gasps> what the heck? Guardian of the Dark Sun? Dude, I thought he, I thought he was chill. <laughs> Like I said before, you'd be fooled if you thought that anything in this game was chill because nothing is chill. Anyway, sensing serious danger, I headed towards the nearest teleport point before I got distracted. Look at this silly little guy. Good news, I actually caught him. I didn't kill him. I know, I know, I'm just as shocked as you are. <gasps> oh my god, we got our first lucky pal! Our luck doesn't last so long, though, as I approach my next boss fight. Wow. Quite Quivern. We can actually fight this guy, like, right about now. And so that's what I did. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, yes, you are a dragon type. I brought Chillette to the fight because Chillette is an ice type and ice types are super effective against dragon types like Quivern. By the way, you'll be glad to know that I can roll now. Look at me roll, look at me roll. Unfortunately. Oh, no! <laughs> no! There really is no teleport point for this whole Anubis area. Interesting. I guess it's like less teleport points the harder the area gets, which I do like. By the way, Vixie dropped a lot of PAL spheres for me, so this is great. On a whim, I decided to read all the journals I've collected so far, and turns out that PAL World has some lore to it. So chill out and listen up because PAL World has no chill. First off is the Castaways journal, which is basically whoever surviving this island's diary, I guess. It discusses basic game mechanics that kind of acts like a tutorial that you can read, so I probably should have read this at the beginning of the game. You also pick up these entries randomly, so I accidentally got the last entry. Is this his last journal? We just skipped all of these journals to the last journal that we got at this Quivern guy. I also had entries from Zoe Rain's diary, which is the syndicate boss that we fought a few episodes earlier. From the few entries we have, it talks about how she considers Grisbolt to be her only family, and though she does have a dad who is the boss making her also a boss figure, no one in the syndicate group actually cares about her except Grisbolt. I also found one mysterious figure's diary entry, Lily Everhart. Lily Everhart's Diary. Won't you join the Free Pal Alliance? The Free Pal Alliance is a long-standing uh, uh, organization that works to protect pals. Thou must not eat pal. Well, I broke that. Thou must not overwork pal. I also broke that. Thou must not abuse pal. I like to think I haven't broken that yet. Thou must not use pals for experiments. Have I? I feel like I probably would have. Thou must risk thy life. You know, this is a very pretty statue. I always see them attacking pals for no frickin' reason though, so I don't trust them. From what I gained from that single entry, I'm assuming Lily Everhart is a prominent figure in the Free Pal Alliance. And if the FPA is anything like Team Plasma, then I imagine Lily Everhart to be like N, a leader that cares about their pals but doesn't really know what's going on in their organization. I would love to meet Lily Everhart soon so that I can confirm my 
my, my hypothesis. But in order to do that, I need to upgrade a ton of materials and this base is not doing it for me. You see, there's no way to farm iron in this game without the natural resource for it. My base does not have any naturally spawning iron ore and we need a ton of iron to upgrade our base. But guess what? Once you've progressed a decent amount into the game, you're allowed to build a second base. Therefore, I'm going on a journey to find the perfect spot for second base where my pals can mine some naturally spawning iron ore. What the heck is that? Okay, Chillette, my favorite little adorable little guy. Oh, Kativa's so nice to see y'all. What? What is that? What is that? Hold on, hold on. Well, Sanda looks. Okay, wait, Kativa. Wow. Wait. Okay. Let me just let me just see what you look like. Oh, I love. <laughs> Are you friendly? <laughs> I love this goofy little face. I love. Oh, it's Mangary. Okay. It is time for us to go. Oh, you are lovely, lovely, very lovely. But we need to leave. I love this chunky beast. After flying for a while, I arrived at an actual desert. <gasps> oh. 41. Ooh, we should not go near. Very, very pretty though. Wow. Oh, I want it. Wow. Oh, they're so cool when they walk like that. Oh. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What? What? <laughs> what? What? Hello? Where did you go? Oh, there you are. Now, I'm a big Dinosaur fan and I had to get this guy, but my strongest pal is also Dinosaur, so I had to use my Night Nosum to fight its cousin. Electric dragon. After a while though, its health was not going down, so I switched into Chillette, which is super effective against Dinosum's dragon type. This Dinosum Lux was several levels above us, so it took us literally the whole in-game day to get its HP down enough. I'm getting this Dino Blossom. This is not good if we die, though. Definitely not good. If we die. Where'd you go? Where? Where'd it go? Hello? What? So I've noticed editing this that Chillette does this thing where every time it stands upright, it will fling anything up into the air, and I'm assuming that's what happened. Well, darn. <laughs> that makes me sad. I wanted to catch it. Soon I went too far, and though I found another Dinosum Lux, I had to go back. Apparently. Why are we cold? It's freaking nighttime. Okay. It's a desert. I forget deserts are cold at night. Let's, let's hurry. Oh my god, it glows in the dark. Ugh. We're too under leveled for this place. We're not catching any. Oh, whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, it's, it's Monsanto. Monsanto? Is this like the moss version of that panda we saw? <gasps> They're so cute. What the? What is this? What is this? We're 
getting it. Wow, we got it! Oh my god, we got it! Hot. It's hot. Armor damaged. Oh, I'm on fire. I can't see anything, and y'all are dead. Okay. Is this lava? Is this lava? Okay, 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 okay. Just, just hold on. Right. Okay. Oh, oh, it's hot. It's hot. We're still. We're gonna die. 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 No! <laughs> So maybe I should unlock teleport points before I try to go into dangerous situations. But I have good news! Look at what I found. No, not the panda, but the rocks. Here, there's a ton of naturally spawning iron ore and also coal. If I establish my mining business here, I can knock out two birds with one stone. Two rocks with one stone. <laughs> but before I can build a base, I had to return to my original base to grab some materials and found this egg. Whoa! The rice. What the heck? Oh my god. <gasps> oh, it looks so sick. Okay, you're moving too much. I'm also not sure when, but I apparently have a syndicate thug. <gasps> oh my god. Hello. Can I can I can I pet you? What the <laughs> ah, I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> Bead, I will give you the spread. Why am I beating his legs? Thug ate bread. <laughs> God. Oh wait, he's off doing to do. He's doing something. What? Are, what is he up to? <laughs> he's, he's crafting the kickers. <laughs> so cool. Oh my God. Huh? Oh, okay. I guess. <laughs> So cute! <laughs> With my materials retrieved, I can now build my second pal base. Build it together with my Kativa that started it all with me. I worked day and night building this base. This time lapse is turning out to be really long, so I guess I'll talk about random stuff. Let's talk about what your favorite pal in this game is. What is your favorite pal so far? Or if you've already played this game, is there any that stood out to you particularly? Me, so far, I'm really liking Chillette. I think Chillette fits my aesthetics perfectly. I mean, it's like the same cyan as my cyan. I've been getting a lot of recommended videos with Chillette, and I'm thinking Chillette is also quite popular in the community. But what I haven't really seen so much of is the Mariah, the Mariah that I got earlier. I think Mariah has one of the coolest and most unique designs I've seen so far. It's quickly climbing my favorites list. Anyway, finally it was ready for my pals to start their mining careers. What's super cool is that a lot of the paths that I caught along the way is actually really useful for this base. For example, that panda for general heavy lifting, but also the turtle and the catfish looking guy. Apparently, they're superb miners. So my base was therefore built and this episode concluded. Hopefully this will let me collect a lot more iron ore so that I can progress a lot faster in the following episodes. If you enjoyed my content, let me know in the comments below and also subscribe to remember that I exist. I'll be continuing Power World, but I'll also be playing a lot of other video games. The next one, I'm gonna be playing Lethal Company, so stay tuned. This was Nyog, thanks for watching.
I always find it really funny when video games will just suddenly take have you seen the clip of Have you seen the clip from Sun and Moon where they're all T-posing in front of the school? <laughs> That's like my favorite clip. Also the one where the eyes pop out. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> 